So you've learned a lot so far. Hope you're enjoying the journey. You've now understood the different asset classes as well as the benefits of diversification. You also now know that stock picking doesn't always work and ETFs are a magical low cost investment instrument. But are you ready to invest? Understanding how to invest is great. But investing is just one of the many aspects of personal finance. Hence, it is critical that other aspects of personal finance are in place before you start investing. And in this video, we will tell you what these other aspects are. High interest loans. Do you have any old credit card bills outstanding or any personal loan or any active loan where you are paying interest rates higher than 12%? If yes, then you should clear out these loans before you start investing. Imagine a situation where you are paying loans at the rate of 12% per annum and on the other hand you are investing in the stock market where you are making returns at 12% per annum. So in that case you are actually losing money to the personal loan faster than you are making money from the stock market. So clear all your high interest loans before you start investing in the stock market. Emergency fund. Now life is uncertain. During COVID millions of people lost their livelihoods due to no fault of their own. Now this could have easily happened to you or me as well. And as such, it is so important to have an emergency fund in place for unexpected events. Stash around six months of your expenses in a fixed deposit account and label this as an emergency fund. And don't use this money under normal conditions. Life insurance. If you are the only earning member of your household or contribute significantly to household expenses, you must have life insurance. Life insurance will secure your family financially in case of your unexpected death. Now, most people that I've seen are quite reluctant to pay such a small premium for something that is so unlikely to happen. But trust me, these premiums are a very small price to pay for the financial security that you will be leaving behind for your family. The health of all members of your family should be insured. Imagine that you have invested in the stock market for your child's education. Suddenly, a member of your family requires health care but doesn't have health insurance. You will then have to withdraw the money meant for your child's education to fund the health care expenses. Your financial planning now for your child's education just went for a toss. So get health insurance policies for yourself and your family members before you start investing. To quickly recap, this is what you should know before you start investing. Number one, pay off your high interest loans. Number two, have an emergency fund in place. Number three, have a life insurance in case you have financial dependence. And number four, get health insurance for yourself and your family. You should start investing if and only if these aspects of personal finance are in place first.